So you want to remove a stump, but you don't want to hire a stump grinder or heavy machinery to get it out. Or perhaps you just want to test yourself, man versus stump, and see if you have what it takes to pull a stump by hand. Well, this is the video for you. G'day, I'm Mark from Self Sufficient Me, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to remove a stump by hand using the wedge or wedges system. Let's get into it. If you've been following me for a while, you'd know that I successfully grew a dragon fruit vine in a container right in this spot here on the stump that I have now removed. But I'm in the process of concreting this area behind our shed so it can be used as a nursery and the stump had to go. The first thing I did was cut the stump off at ground level. The closest you can go to the ground, probably the better. The next thing to do is dig out around the stump. And you're doing two things. You're clearing the area, plus you're looking for where the main root system is. Most stumps have a base secure root system with four or five main roots coming out from the base of the tree. And what they do is stabilize the tree in place. Find those stabilizing roots and dig around them as much as you can to open the area up so that you know what you're working with. You want to also dig out a bit so that you've got room to work with your chainsaw. The less you're cutting into soil and gravel, the better it is for your chainsaw chain and the bar. Because the next step is to cut through those main base roots so that all you're left with, hopefully, is a stump with probably a major tap root going straight down. Next is the cross cut. Cut across in the top of the stump all the way through to the base and hopefully right down to where the tap root starts on the base of the stump. This will make four quarters. Now this is a fair job and it's why I said at the beginning you want to cut as much of that stump to the ground as possible because you basically have to make a plunge cut or a side cut whichever way you go to get that cross cut and of course make sure you think safety when you're doing this because it is a risky job. Once you've got that quarter cross cut done now's the time to make your wedges. I just used scrap but good quality hardwood that was left over from our deck renovation. You'll probably use quite a few pieces, so fill your boots by cutting as many as you like, maybe even 10, and also different sizes, thicker, smaller, to accommodate for widening out those gaps as you hammer the wedges in. And then with a nice sized sledgehammer, drive the wedge into the cut between two of the quarters and keep using bigger wedges to increase the gap until one or both quarters of the stump give way. Once you've cracked the quarter and you've felt that it's given way, you can then do the rest by using a crowbar. And in my case, I use the prong tool to lever it out. It might take a little bit to lever the broken piece out because you've still got soil and whatnot kind of cemented in for a long time around it. So if you do have to dig out a little bit more, fine. But if you've done the digging appropriately in the first place, it should just come right out once it's snapped off that tap root. And then it's just a matter of repeating the wedge process for all the other quarters. If you find the last quarter is still stuck solid in place, you might have to split it further in half since there's nothing to wedge it against, obviously. And I had to do that in this case. I just split it one last time with a cut down the middle and that was easy enough to jam the prong down and break it in half and then a sledgehammer finished it off. After that, you can fill in the hole and the job's done. But in this case, because I'm concreting this area, I just filled it a little bit and that's gonna be dug out anyway. But at least there won't be any problems trying to deal with a stump in the way when laying the slab. Just a few last points to make. This process works best with older stumps. In newly cut down trees, the stump might be harder to wedge out due to the extra flexibility in the fresh wood. And it will be harder to break or snap the stump off from the tap root. Some trees have easier root systems than others and the size of the tree makes a difference. Naturally, the bigger the stump, the longer and harder it's probably gonna be to get out. But you're just gonna have to use more wedges. And the other thing about wedges, you can use the steel ones. Now, I'm no professional tree lopper or stump remover guy, so I just cut these because it was handy for me. 
but you can get professional steel wedges that the loggers use and that and they would obviously do a much better job so you might want to consider buying them but for me just cutting my own was good enough always wear eye protection perhaps even a full face protection in case the wedge springs out and hits you in the mouth i mean you don't want to lose your front teeth do you trying to get a stump out that'd be pretty awful I probably should have taken my own advice with that. And finally, be happy to do an upper body workout because that's what you're gonna get. It's no easy thing. This took me over an hour to get out myself and it wasn't an easy process, but at least I didn't have to use anything else except for brute force and my own hands. Having said that, this wedge system of removing a stump makes it easier than trying to chop it out. But yeah, you'll still feel it the next day. I hope this video helps you if you're trying to remove a stump by hand or at least gives you some ideas on how to do it and then you find your own way. If it does, make sure you stump up and give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already and share this video around because that helps a lot. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye for now. Good luck. It's hard yakka, but hey, it's well worth it. And this stuff, it will go in the base of some of our garden beds, will be used as firewood. Hey! Ah! Just about done that too. Maybe I could have been a karate expert. Lethal hands. <laughs>